Today is brought to you by the letter M for mud. And it drives me nuts. Well, it's a Thursday morning, so it's time for another weigh-in. Just a little prediction. I think I might have gained a little bit, a little bit uh, lax on the diet uh, this week in general, but then also mostly the weekend was the thing. The, the past couple days haven't been so bad, but uh, over the weekend I was like, food, which is a good sign. I'm getting my appetite back somewhat. But anyway, let's reset and go. Whoa. Yeah, 203.4, so, what was it, like 203.8? Okay, I lost four-tenths of a pound. That's fine, too. That works. Maintained. So I know I can splurge a little bit and just keep at the same level. But, still want to get under 200. So maybe, like, 195. You know, about eight more pounds. I think I'll be right at that. You know, it gives me a little bit of of tolerance to ride the waves of, of weight gain and loss. So, anyway. Well, I was going to go film for this uh, reinspection for a rough in, but then the homeowner showed up and you know, the self contractor thing, which, hey, uh, that's, that's totally fine in our jurisdiction. But I am watching a Tim Tracker video and they're going over and they're doing all the, the treats in the Magic Kingdom, which, again, self torture in multiple ways like not only the disney aspect of it but uh they're also going over all these food treats especially the savory ones that really brings out the hunger pangs and uh oof but it's fun i'll i'll link to that video down there uh he was he's been a big um inspiration of mine uh, it was it was kind of funny even when we went to Disney uh, when we went to chef Mickey's we sat right next to uh, the seat where he sat one time and like I had seen the video prior to that so it was like it's right there I don't mean to be starstruck and and all that but it's it's a fun little fun little thing so uh, I'll I'll link to that video did I do that one I know I filmed it. I don't remember. It's been so long since I've edited all that. One of the things I want to do after I get my new place and I, I don't have the kids for a week, I'll have obviously have some time to, uh, to do some video editing. I want to go back through a lot of that old footage and make big montage to do something else with it. So that should be fun. A little... What's the word I want to use? I mean, a little heartbreaking knowing what I know now. But it was still fun to see the looks on my kids' faces and everything. That That is was the most awesome part of Disney was just seeing their faces light up. Now, obviously, going forward, one, we don't know when we're going back, but and two, I don't know what necessarily the protocols and everything will be like when when we go back so anyway um uh, gotta do another inspection then i need fuel for the vehicle i mean i got boots but uh mud i gotta go over to that barn I got gravel right here so i can get my boots on <laughs> mud well, we're out in the boonies yet again i just had a pretty wicked blast from the past not gonna lie i'm pretty excited about it so just want to throw that one out there. Just a weird little something I thought of. I just heard a plane going overhead. And it's a memory of my wife, and I shouldn't be talking about her and whatnot. But, you know, it's interesting to be in this situation where she's taking a flight. But it, I remember it was a couple years ago that I saw a plane of her airline, I can't remember which one it was, coming in... Uh, looked like for a landing perhaps and I was texting her like hey I think I see you and she's like oh that's not fair you got to see me and like being all sweet and everything and now it's completely gone it's like what changed there I don't know 
Anyway, still having a good day. It's just a random thought that came into my head and I wanted to tell the story. I made an executive decision. I'm just about to go get the kids um, from school. I'm tonight, after I get them to bed, I'm gonna clean up my desk. I want to, you know, this is my uh, quote unquote battle station. Uh, I've got my PC, my Kyber Crystal, and my graphics card. I got my nice three monitor set up. There's my streaming, streaming light. Uh, but, you know, it's just covered in crap and everything. And then, then I might actually stream tomorrow night. And I'll put a link to that down in the description. Well, it's mostly clean. I didn't, like, dust it off or anything. But I uh, got rid of most of the clutter. So... Might actually stream a little bit tomorrow. That'd be fun. I am pretty excited though. Hoodie weather. I don't think that's necessarily gonna last because it's September. It could be up to 90 really soon, easily. But um, yeah, looking at IKEA, um, really there's a pass through in between the living room and dining room kind of area. So I'm. Uh, Thinking about making like a wall divider, but having storage in it to help alleviate some of the storage problems I may have. And then making my office in the dining room with a folding um, dining room table and like folding chairs. Because, I mean, when I have my kids, we're going to use that every night. But when they're not there, probably just going to eat where I am, which a lot of times would be at my desk. <laughs> anyway, so, um, yeah, and that's those are kind of my ideas going forward, but of course I don't want to buy anything until I'm in the space and I can measure things out and see how it would fit, but uh, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Looking forward to this weekend, doing it all by myself. But with that, we're going to keep moving forward.